Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with FS port here. Uh, sorry, Silent Threat Reborn, I keep forgetting. Uh, part of the FS port project. Let's see what the next mission here is. As soon as it loads. Vasudan forces have secured Vasuda, Deneb, and Sirius, while Terran forces are making rapid progress on the Vega and Betelgeuse fronts. Isolated cells of activity are being crushed in Alpha Centauri, Aldebaran, and Regulus. Inexplicably, all Shivan activity in the Capella colonies has vanished. The bulk of the Shivan Armada appears to be retreating to Ikea and Ross 128, where they will likely make their stand and possibly attempt to counterattack. However, GTA tacticians doubt their chances of success. Experts have observed that the Shivans appear to be lacking ordered leadership and coordination. Well, that's good news. While the remainder of the fleet is hunting down the Shivans in Terran and Vasudan space, Special Ops has been charged with softening up the fleeing armada as they attempt to regroup. Your next series of missions will involve surgical strikes against overwhelming odds deep in Shivan territory. Fortunately, we have some new tools to assist us. The new Shield Breaker is a special issue weapon developed specifically for this campaign. Designed as an anti Shivan weapon, the Shield Breaker is an electromagnetic energy disruptor, inflicting massive damage to enemy defensive systems. This weapon causes no structural damage, but coupling it with an anti-hull cannon such as the Prometheus will be effective against heavily shielded fighters and bombers. The Shield Breaker has greater weapons compatibility and energy efficiency than the Banshee. But the name kind of sucks. Research and development has completed field testing of the Zeus Strike Bomber. Like the Athena, its predecessor, the Zeus offers excellent speed and maneuverability. Additionally, more efficient design enables the Zeus to carry tsunami space bombs in its arsenal. These features will make the Zeus a versatile and effective weapon against medium-sized targets. I'm guessing the next mission is going to be a bombing mission. Here we go. Yep. Freighters. Recent victories have forced the majority of the Shivan fleet to fall back to the initial systems in which they appeared. IKEA and Ross 128. Recon has located waves of heavily escorted Shivan convoys heading to IKEA from Ribos. How heavily escorted? Our mission here is twofold. First, we will shut down the Shivan convoys and sever their supply lines. Second, we will capture the cargo and analyze its contents. Your okay. squadron will enter the system between convoys. You must quickly eliminate any Shivan fighters guarding the node. Mine Once layer. the area is secured, our forces will set up an ambush. Sentry guns will be dropped near the IKEA okay. jump node to intercept any escaping ships. Alpha and Beta wings will destroy all Shivan freighters and transports, leaving the cargo intact. Our own freighters will then pick up the cargo and depart. Sounds simple enough. We estimate we will be able to intercept at least three waves of transport before the Shivans are alerted to our plan. In case of any unforeseen developments, await orders from command. Report to the flight deck immediately. Unforeseen developments. Alright, so yeah, definitely going to do the Zeus here, because that seems like fun. Anti-bomber. And a tsunami bomb. Prometheus and the uh, okay, that's actually a uh, uh, pretty good setup. We're on station command. There are four scorpions protecting the node. Confirmed, pilots. Eliminate the fighters and any other Shivan forces in the area. It's actually it's pretty fast. This is a pretty nice damage. Alright, so far I don't see any freighters on the uh, overview here. 
so, uh... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we've cleared the jump node. All hostiles eliminated, Command. The node is clear. Good. We will now initiate our ambush operation. Deploying Epsilon. Rearming complete, sir. Alright, there we go. And that would be Epsilon Wing. Epsilon Wing, now on station. Epsilon, your orders are to engage the convoy escort fighters. Leave the freighters and transports to Alpha. Yeah, we get all the juicy kills. Understood, Command. So when are the freighters going to actually jump in? That's the, uh, mine, mine layer. We are dropping Cerberus sentry guns. Really quiet here. We're tracking the okay, good. through subspace. Should enter the area within the next few minutes. I hope that's an exaggeration, because this is So we're supposed to just sit here? Yeah. And wait? That is correct, Beta 2. If I wanna sit station. and wait for a freighter we kill, I'll just go to. play some Eve. Here we go. Freighters on station to pick up Sheevan cargo. Oh, those are friendly freighters. Near the node. I mean, it's a pretty good ambush. I mean, I... I'd say we're probably going to murderize these freighters. More transports. When they eventually show up. Unless this turns out to be so, like... How do you like these new Zeus bombers? Miles better than the Athena, if you ask me. Uh, Here. Oh. Still friendlies. Tell me about it. <laughs> I can't wait to slam some tsunamis into those freighters. Handles almost as well as the Herp to boot. I like how they're fucking You'll taunting us. Try them out, pilot. Shivens will be arriving any minute now. Like, oh yeah, we got this brand new bomber that it's gonna be great to use against these freighters, and it's fucking four minutes into the mission, and like they keep just jumping in wave after wave of friendly transport. Plus, also, won't these bombs hurt the friendlies? Because bombs are area of effect weapons. I mean, yeah, you have to target them to fire them normally. I mean, I don't want to waste two of them here to see uh, if they'll just fire without a lock, but they still do area of effect damage. So it's not exactly something where, you know, I'd want a whole bunch of ships clustered around where it's going to hit. Because these are probably going to do a shit ton of damage when they uh, go off. In fact, I actually should probably switch this off to uh, single fire mode. Because it's probably going to act and wind up wasting them. Here we go. Okay, there's the first convoy. Just like in the briefing command. Excellent. Engage and destroy the convoy. Be sure to preserve the cargo. I'll see what I can do about that. Sentry gun placement is 50% complete. Okay, switching just to the Prometheus, which will actually cause it to uh, fire slightly faster. And I'm being locked by uh, hostile fighters, but... Okay, in range, diverting all power to the shields. Bombs away! And that hurt it pretty well.
Okay. Full stop here. There's no reason to waste another bomb on this guy. Excellent job, pilot. I need Roger, sir. On our way. Calling in support. All right. Well, he blew up anyway, so those bombs are going to explode when they get out of range. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's the bombs. Support is busy. Mine laying complete. We are returning to base. Those actually have a pretty impressive range. Might as well bring shields down to normal power so I can recharge my afterburner and weapons here. I notice none of these objectives have completed yet and it's seven minutes in. Rearming complete, sir. This is a rearm is quick. whole lot going on. So I'm going to say this is probably going to be the boring mission. Hopefully the only one. I mean, this is pretty easy. Uh, we're just sitting around waiting to gank freighters. We're tracking the second convoy now. Expected to arrive momentarily. I like how they say that right as he's jumping in more ships. It's like, they're seriously just trolling us here. Just, you know, trying to go and make us think that combat's about to happen and then it just doesn't. And of course, sticking around here, I'm probably going to wind up uh, having a freighter jump out right on top of me. And there is collision damage and ships do move at quite a high speed. Okay, here we go. Not quite on top of me, three kilometers out. This guy's closer. Enemy wing just arrived. I think. Nope, this guy is. Yep, I'm already within range. Okay, you can't fire the bombs without a lock. Everything to the shields here. And my bomb didn't manage to hit him. Alright, well let's take out the second freighter then. Let's see if that bomb kills him. No, that actually didn't do a whole lot of damage. Holy shit. And I still got a few seconds to reload before I can fire again. One more freighter, one more bomb. And he's gone. Oh, no, there is one more freighter. You know, these kind of look like the Firefly. There we go. The second convoy is down, Command. Nothing left but debris and cargo. Roger, sir. On our way. So, uh... I noticed the second convoy objective and the first convoy objective are still showing incomplete. So, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that there.
Did I get close enough? Can I scan this? Yes. Engine components. Really useful. Rearming complete, sir. I like the fact that we're doing this as special operations as well. This is like... You know, we're basically doing nothing. I'm just going to switch to dual missiles here because, uh... I'm never really having to fire anything. Alright, he's jumping out. So almost 12 minutes into the mission. I wonder when the next convoy is going to show up. Set on match speed there, just in case. Though I'm probably going to be doing like hard burns towards whatever it is so I can try and get another kill. Well, I'm up to three now, that's not too bad. Given, you know, how much firepower we have here. And I think it counts kills as max damage in this game. Okay, that's a jump noise. And that's just somebody jumping out. The third convoy is inbound. It appears to have gained additional escort. Be ready. It appears to have gained additional escort. Great. Well, we're still going to do this. Oh, fucking shit. That's a fucking cane. No kidding. I'm reading four dragons and a cane. Well, Mr. Kane, how would you like some bombs? Because I don't really need these to destroy the fucking freighters. Alright, everything to the shields here. Oh, fuck. I think those bombs hurt him just a tad. Need to get one last lock on here. There we go. I probably should move away. And he's completely disabled there. I like how that freighter is kind of pushing him. There we go. That's a pretty nice explosion. Almost run out of weapons power here and missiles, but I really don't want to have to take power out of my shields. Yeah, I'm out of uh, power for my main guns and power to my afterburners. And that kills my missiles, so let's put a little bit of power into weapons now. Uh, one other thing is in this game, diverting power between, like, weapons and engines, or even the shields, doesn't actually really affect how strong they are. It just affects regen rate. Now, for shields, that does still kind of affect how strong they are, because you're, uh... Oh, shoot. Got a little bit too energetic there and managed to knock my keyboard off the desk. Stand by, pilots. Reinforcements are being deployed to secure the node. Great. Reinforcements. Oh, right. Take out these fighters. Yeah, I rammed him to death. That better be fucking impressive. Not only I could actually fucking aim. More bombers. Alright, 
All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and take these guys down. Uh, that's not good. Actually, these guys are a little bit hard, so... Screw that, I'm leaving. They said I could. Distinguished Excellent flying work, comps. pilot. Your performance in this mission was outstanding. So, she a nice little medal there. Kia have been cut off, and we now have full control over this subspace node. You also destroyed all hostile targets, including several fighter wings and the Kane cruiser Mouse. You and your wingmen are to be commended for this accomplishment. No recommendations. Unfortunately, not all the cargo was recovered. Aww. Theta Wing never arrived at the designated GTI rendezvous. Command is officially listing them as MIA until evidence can be found to the contrary, but it is unlikely that they could have been intercepted by the Sheevans. Keep your eyes open for any unusual So if the Sheevans the didn't get them, who did? For demonstrating exceptional skill in combat, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Yay. How many medals do I have? I've got Good Conduct, GTI Unit Crest, and the Cross, so that's good. Alright, well until next time, this is Trekkie1701C signing off.